Prime Minister Justin Trudeau stands accused of having connections with controversial figures, igniting a scandal that questions the very integrity of Canada's political foundation. Recent reports have surfaced suggesting Trudeau's alleged ties with individuals who may not align with the country's values, bringing to light concerns over national security sovereignty and international relations. Key sources including NDTV and Britannica have brought to light multiple facets of this unfolding saga, from the SNC-Lavalin affair to accusations against Indian interference in Canadian affairs. With a history of conservative leadership like that of Stephen Harper and the Liberal Party's recent scandals, we're left to wonder how these events will shape the future of Canadian governance. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. Uh, Allegations suggest that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau might be linked to controversial figures, an accusation that has sent shockwaves through the nation. These allegations point towards a potential entanglement with foreign elements and raise questions about the integrity of Canadian governance. How deep do these connections run and what could this mean for the future of this country's political landscape? The role of Canadian security agencies comes into question. With foreign governments possibly in play, the complexity of this issue escalates. We've learned that evidence of these controversial ties was allegedly raised during a bilateral meeting with India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, further stirring the pot. The involvement of such high-level discussions hints at the gravity of the situation and brings us to ponder what are the implications for Canada's sovereignty and international standing. Analyzing the potential impact on Canada's sovereignty, one cannot help but consider the broader international relations at stake. With allies like the United States and Australia expressing their concerns over the issue, it's clear that this is more than a bilateral tiff. It's a situation that could redefine Canada's position on the global stage, altering diplomatic dynamics with longtime partners and raising questions about the country's commitment to the rule of law. These recent allegations have cast a shadow over past achievements and present a complex challenge for the current government. One must ponder the delicate balance of power and ethics within the realm of international politics. As Canadians, how should we navigate through these murky waters? Do these allegations alter your perception of Canada's political integrity? Share your thoughts in the comments below and stay tuned as we continue to dissect this evolving narrative. Your engagement helps shine a light on these critical issues. The Guru Nanak Sikh Gurdwara, a prominent place of worship and community gathering, finds itself at the heart of these allegations. This institution, revered by many, is now scrutinized for its potential ties to the unfolding events. In a dramatic turn of events, there have been accusations directed towards certain Sikh institutions alleging foreign interference and extremist affiliations. Faced with these allegations, political figures have been quick to respond. Notably, NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, a prominent Sikh Canadian, has been vocal about his stance. In light of recent events, including the killing of Hardeep Singh Najjar, a Canadian citizen and Sikh leader, Canada's Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has made serious claims about possible foreign involvement. According to sources like the Times of India, Trudeau has pointed to credible allegations linking Indian government agents to the assassination, a claim that India has categorically denied, calling it absurd. The expulsion of an Indian diplomat following these allegations has further strained the diplomatic ties between the two nations, raising questions about the involvement of Sikh institutions in these complex geopolitical dynamics. As we explore these multifaceted issues, it's crucial to remember the diversity and richness of the Sikh community, which cannot be overshadowed by the actions of a few individuals. Our goal here is not just to inform, but to understand the broader context and the reverberating effects of these allegations on international relations, community trust, and the fabric of Canadian multiculturalism. Leading the charge is conservative leader Pierre Poliver, who has been forthright in his critiques of the Liberal government's dealings. On 23-10-2023, he accused Prime Minister Justin Trudeau of damaging relations with India, as reported by CTV News. Poliver asserts that Trudeau's approach has not only caused a diplomatic rift, but also brought Canada's sovereignty into question. His policy proposals include implementing a pay-as-you-go law to counteract large budget deficits, which he argues are fueling inflation. The chorus for transparency grows louder as calls for a public inquiry gain momentum. Canadians are pressing for answers to questions about the extent of foreign interference within their political system. The Conservative Party, under Poliver's leadership, is vocalizing a strong stance against the Liberal government, potentially leveraging the controversy to strengthen its position. The Liberal government faces a precarious situation with the integrity of its operations under intense examination. The allegations have the potential to erode public trust and affect its stability. The fabric of India-Canada relations is undergoing a significant strain as we peel back the layers of the unfolding Trudeau government controversy. Historically, Canada and India have enjoyed a cordial relationship with mutual interest in trade, education, and defense. However, recent events have cast a shadow over this partnership. 
India's response to the allegations has been nothing short of assertive. With the expulsion of Canadian diplomats, a clear message was sent interference won't be tolerated. This action not only signifies a diplomatic rift, but also potentiates a series of retaliatory measures that could escalate tensions further. The broader implications for diplomatic engagement are profound. The robust foundation built over years of diplomacy risks being undermined by a single controversy. Here's what might be at stake long-term reputational and future diplomatic endeavors. In light of these developments, one must ponder the resilience of international relationships in the face of internal political turmoil. It raises the question, how can nations navigate such choppy diplomatic waters while maintaining their sovereignty and mutual interests? We encourage you all to share your thoughts on this delicate dance of diplomacy in the comments below. As we move towards the final sections of our discussion, stay tuned for a deeper dive into media coverage, public perception, and the legal and ethical ramifications surrounding this controversy. Media entities have wielded their storytelling prowess, scripting a varied landscape of perspectives around Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's leadership and the current controversy at hand. News outlets have chronicled Trudeau's journey from a fresh face in politics to a leader whose brand is questioned as seen in articles like Justin Trudeau, the rise and fall of a political brand from The Guardian, dated 2208-2019. Some Canadians are expressing disillusionment over what they perceive as unmet promises, while others continue to champion Trudeau's vision for a progressive Canada. It's clear that these revelations have not only shaken the political ground, but have also reached deep into the fabric of Canadian society, compelling citizens to question and reevaluate the integrity of their leadership. The allegations against Prime Minister Trudeau have raised serious legal questions. The role of Canadian security agencies and their duty to investigate any potential threats to national security, the involvement of foreign governments, and the need for proper channels of diplomatic communication to prevent misunderstandings and conflicts, and how the Conflict of Interest Act which was cited in the CTV News article from 2012-2022, could apply in this situation if any personal gains were made by officials at the expense of public trust. The fallout from such controversies can be significant. Individual reputations may be tarnished, leading to a loss of credibility and career damage. Institutions could face a loss of public trust, which is crucial for maintaining democratic integrity. And the international standing of Canada could be impacted if global partners view the country's political landscape as unstable or corrupt. As we've seen from the Reuters report on 1909-2019, a list of scandals has already cast a shadow over Trudeau's tenure. It is imperative that all parties involved take swift and transparent action to address these concerns. The ethics commissioner mentioned in the CTV News article plays a critical role in ensuring ethical conduct and investigating breaches, emphasizing the importance of this position in upholding the integrity of Canadian politics. What do you believe is the most critical step for moving forward in this controversy? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're looking for more in-depth analysis, explore the resources linked in the description. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest developments. Your engagement is invaluable as we continue to delve into the intersection of politics and ethics.